question a lot and I want to go ahead and cover it. Uh, this is a small video on how to connect your plasma cutter to the control box using our current method or the method that's most uh, commonly available with the system. Now because we offer so many integrations in terms of um, you can hook up our system to almost any plasma cutter in the world, um, we can't necessarily provide a CPC port that matches every design because while this could be a 14 port design, there are a lot of 12 port designs and so on and so forth down to even four port designs. Um, so what we do is we provide you with these two extended leads. Now we do provide uh, for, in certain cases, some Everlast and some Hypertherm CPC ports, but because of the cost to acquire those parts, and how they can tend to be cost prohibitive just to include them in the price of the machine. We uh, do sell them individually on the side. But with this wiring system, it's rather simple here to, in this case, it's a 45 XP. Um, they have their numbers listed here, one, two, three, being on the far um, left-hand side here, four, five, and six, um, three and four being the uh, first two in the, the, the um, contacts. You would literally just connect or slide these into ports 3 and to ports 4. It doesn't matter what color goes into which because it all it does in our system is close the circuit and by closing the circuit it engages the firing mechanism inside of the 45 XP causing it to fire the plasma cutter. Same thing when that contact is disconnected the plasma cutter shuts off. So it doesn't matter red or black they can both uh, they can be on either one. All it does is it closes a contact. And that's how you hook up the basic wiring setup on our system. The other one hooks into the P port on the plasma cutter. I'm sorry, on the control box.